Hey guys, so I'm at my grandparents' house. I just cut their grass yesterday after uh, co coming back from their farm. So I think the next time they'll come to their house, I think probably by the end of the week. Their grass actually has been looking pretty good this year. See their front yard looks pretty good. Yep. A little bit dried up. Looks a little bit burnt, probably just needs a little bit of water. And even their neighbors yard looks pretty good. See they have a lawn tractor. So I think their neighbor uh, so he cuts their grass and also cuts that house right there Which I believe is a, an old lady that lives in that house. And I think she bought bought my na bought their Neighbor that lawn tractor and apparently it looks like she's trying to sell that house And This one spot of my grandparents' yard starting to look pretty bad. Yesterday I had spotted uh, chinch bugs in it. So let's see maybe if I could find some chinch bugs anywhere. You can tell, look at that, the grass is just all rotted. Because they'll just they'll feed through they'll just feed through the grass. Because usually most of the most of the time, see this area it dries up. Well, there's a there's one right there. Yep, there was a chinch bug. It's a little bit cloudy out right now. Well, just partly cloudy. right here yeah it's like very rot it all just comes apart whenever I start pulling on it the chinch bugs will mostly feed on St. Augustine grass yeah that's really bad a couple weeks ago when I was up over here mowing their yard and they were actually home. Well, there's a chinch bug right there. There's a small one. There's a bigger one right there. They got like a little diamond. Silver. Yeah, a little diamond shapes on their back. Yeah, that little guy there, that is a chinch bug. As you can see right there. See that's what they're doing. It's my grandparents' yard. You know they had this they had an issue like this in their front yard a couple years ago. Yeah, so this is what's this is what happens like with your lawn. Especially if you have St. Augustine grass at a spot where it's a very sunny spot and very hot. So yeah. Yeah, there's a there's a chinch bug right there. So yeah, that really sucks. Their grass was doing really good this year, just except for this spot. Yeah, that's like like really rotten. So bad. Uh, 
Well, I guess we'll have to try and keep this spot watered as much as possible. Right over here, a while ago, they had a a cicada killer wasp nest right there, but it's been a little while since I've even seen some some of them wasp around here. Because lately there would be a, a male wasp that would fly around here. Because what the males, what they do, they just fly around the nest to guard the nest. And they're, they're a little bit smaller than the, the female wasp. The males do not sting. Now the females will sting. It's not very common for people getting stung by cicada killer wasps. They only just use their stingers on cicadas. So, so I thought I'd do this video. I'll send this to my grandparents and just let them know that they got problems with chinch bugs in their yard again. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching.